Hi, I'm Phil Bedford, and wherever you are in the world, welcome to the Rebel Networker. In the show this week, we're going to be talking about why clients are not necessarily your best source of referral. In Ask Dr. Phil, we're also going to be talking about why corporates don't seem to embrace networking, and yet smaller businesses see it as a, an, a fundamental resource for business growth. Coming up in the Rebel Networker. One of the biggest challenges I get when I'm training new clients is they seem to have a bit of an issue getting their mindset away from clients being their only referral source. We start to look at tactics and, and all kinds of strategies, but it keeps coming back to clients. And this is, this is not really strange because when we look at most businesses out there, where they get their, new, their referrals from, their new clients, is existing clients, people who've experienced their product or service and then recommend them. And hence, that's where they tend to put all their resources, oh, well, when I say resources, quite often it's hope, because they kind of hope their clients are going to refer them. So for what purpose do we have this clash? The main reason being is people have no strategy for referral marketing on where they're going to get their businesses. So I would say to somebody, clients are your best source of referral if you have no strategy to get them from somewhere else. There was a recent study in the Harvard Business Review, and what they said was they actually looked at companies and said, how many of your existing clients are you actually asking for business, for referrals? And what they actually realized is they weren't asking a lot at all. So they did a study, and they got people to ask 100% of their existing satisfied clients if they would refer them. Now, the interesting thing is 68% of those clients came back and said, yes, we would be willing to refer you. In reality, guess how many actually did? It was 11%. 11% of your existing happy clients actually referred the businesses. And that was only if they asked 100% of their clients. So stop a second. Think about how many clients you actually have. And you may be getting referrals from some of those clients. But if you're not asking 100%, you're not even getting 11%, what are you really getting? So if we want to be getting referrals, we need to be looking somewhere else than just clients. Particularly if we want to build our business proactively rather than reactively. I've got a question from Bernie in the UK. And Bernie's working in a corporate and she said to me, Phil, why is it that my corporate is not interested in me networking and, and, and just does not incentivize us whatsoever when I know that other, com other individuals get a lot of business through networking? Well, you know, Bernie, a lot of it's a mindset thing. The challenge is most corporates, when they go networking, are there trying to find a new job. They go networking for people just like them to get a new job. So why would a corporate invest in that? It's a mindset change that needs to happen, Bernie. And it, when the corporates realize that these networking groups can actually be used for generating new business, they're going to start earning a lot more money. We're actually going to be talking a lot more about this in the next show. So that's this week's show, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Please contact me and let me know if it's been useful for you or what you'd like to know more about. In next week's show, we're going to be talking more about corporates in networking. Music